family of the man shot to death last night in the St. Rock neighborhood identify him as Joseph Miles. They say he was a loving widower, stepfather and grandfather, and a friend to many. Ashland Brothers reports. Life is full of lessons. I just wish I wasn't so stubborn. I wouldn't have took his presence and his time here for granted, and I did, and I'm sorry. Terrified of retaliation, a devastated stepdaughter chose not to be identified, but couldn't stay silent after she says her stepfather, Joseph Miles, was killed at his home in the St. Rock neighborhood. Check on your people. <laughs> Two days before the tragedy, they rekindled their decades-long relationship after a brief falling out seven months ago when her mother passed away. He was such a fun and loving and caring man. He always showed love to my children, and he was crazy about my mom. New Orleans police responded at the 2500 block of North Miro Street around 7 Monday night and say they discovered a man was shot to death. His stepdaughter says Miles was in his late 60s. He taught me how to hustle. She says she's already plagued by paranoia. I lost two brothers to gun violence. Seeing my brothers land on the ground that just did something to me that traumatized me for life. Friends of Miles say he just moved here a few months ago. He was just a nice dude, speak to everybody. Neighbors describe Miles as inherently good. God bless his soul. I cannot understand why this happened to him. Stop the violence. Musician Donald Thomas says it's his mission to end gun violence. You not understand, divide we fall. And if you don't respect God, you're not going to respect nobody. You got to start there first because God created us to love one another to share and have good, great times together. The law want the heart, the devil want the mind. Spreading his message through music. Be good, do good, love one another. His message to Miles. You one of the coolest dudes I ever met. For that fun and loving character that speak to everybody. Everybody loves seeing you. Miles' stepdaughter says time will teach you. Harboring hate in your heart isn't worth it. I just pray they get right with God and I just hope they seek him and uh, I'm just praying for justice. In New Orleans, Ashland Brothers, Fox 8, Local First.